the census. It's that random survey that pops up every 10 years that everyone says you have to fill out. But why should you really care? It's just a few questions, right? Well, not exactly. So get this, for every single person that doesn't fill out the census, we lose around $30,000. That adds up pretty quick. And depending on how we do as a city and as a state, we could get more or less money from the federal government, more or less people representing us over in DC, and it could actually change how Spokane is physically changing. All right, next I want to take a look at this map here. This is showing what areas in Spokane are hardest to count. The darker the red, the less representation that area has. So look at all of this red all over our county here. It's just not a small part of our county. So there's actually a census committee here in Spokane that's working to make sure everyone gets counted this year. One way they're doing that is the Trusted Messenger program. Take a look. So this is uh, your guide to the 2020 census. And this is the first program, outreach program in place for people of color specifically. Historically, people of color have been extremely undercounted. Rohini Vias and other volunteers are just reaching out to their friends and family to teach them about the census. Like, I already have something established with you, and so you're more likely to want to listen to me. The goal is to have people all over start talking about it more just in general. Another way they're trying to get everyone to fill out the census is through this app. It's called Solace, and it's made to help people in the LGBT community. One of the uh, goals that we've added to Solace is uh, getting counted in the census. Everyone that uses the app has that goal to complete and instructs them, instructs them on how to get it done um, and just kind of some questions that are unique to this community and finds a way to answer them with dignity. Even though it might be scary, any info that you give about yourself to the census is totally private. So part of our guidance is saying, as painful as it may be, if you do not fall into one of those binary options, pick one. So moral of the story, fill out your census this year. It's only a few questions and you can do it online, by mail, or you can call in and do it over the phone. In studio, I'm Nicole Hernandez.